In this video, I will show you how to connect the outputs of power supplies in series or parallel to get higher voltages or currents. First, I'll demonstrate power supplies connected in series. We'll also cover how to connect remote sets. Next, I'll demonstrate parallel connected power supplies. Then I'll show you how to connect parallel supplies with remote sets. In order to demonstrate how to get more voltage from your power supply outputs or power supplies, I'm going to show you how to connect two outputs in series to power this 48 volt fan. So I'm going to set output 1 to 24 volts and 1 amp. Using output 4 as the second power supply output, I'm going to set power uh, output 4 to 24 volts as well and 1 amp. In order to show you that the two power supply outputs are working in series in order to provide the voltage, first I'm going to turn on output 1 and as you can see the fan is not turning on and output 4 and the fan is now on. Now I'm going to use the Agilent 34411A digital multimeter to take a voltage reading at the inputs of the fan and as you can see there are 48 volts across the fan. So again to connect your power supply outputs in series connect the positive terminal to the fan the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the second output and the negative terminal of the second output to the negative terminal of the fan. If the connections between your power supply and your load are subject to load lead effects when you connect the power supply outputs in series, you want to use remote sense to compensate. In order to do this, you want to connect remote sense in series as well. First, take the positive sense terminal on output 1 and connect that to the positive input on your fan. Next, the negative sense terminal on output 1 is connected to the negative output terminal on output 1. Also, connect the negative sense terminal on output 1 to the positive sense terminal on output 2. Finally, you want to connect a wire between the negative sense terminal on output 2 to the negative input on the fan. With all of these connections connected, I'm going to go ahead and turn on output 1 and output 4. And as you can see, the fan turns on and the power supply has now compensated for any voltage drops due to low leads. You can also connect your power supply outputs in parallel in order to receive higher current. Here, I am going to use the Agilent 6063B DC electronic low to draw 10 amps from the power supply. In order to do this, I'm going to set the mode in current mode, enter, and current at 10 amps. As you can see, power supply output 1 is already connected to the load, and I'm going to take another cable and I'm going to connect power supply output 1 and power supply output 4 in parallel. Now on the power supply, I want to set the desired voltage, let's say 5 volts. Power supply output 1 is going to source 5 amps. On power supply output number 4, I want to set the voltage slightly lower than output 1 at 4.9 and I also want 5 amps from output 4. Now when I turn on the two outputs, the DC electronic load should have 10 amps across it. And here you see 10 amps across the load. Each power supply output is sourcing 5 amps and we have them connected in parallel. When connecting your power supply outputs in parallel, your connections may also be subject to load lead effects. To compensate for this, connect remote sense in parallel. In order to do this, I'm going to take a cable and connect the remote sense terminals on 
output 1 to output 4. Next, I'm going to take a cable that's connected to the back of the load and connect that to the sense terminals on output 1. Finally, when I turn output 1 and output 4 on, I am now delivering 10 amps to my load while compensating for any voltage drops due to load lead effects. In summary, we've seen that you can connect power supply outputs in series to obtain a higher voltage and power supply outputs in parallel to obtain higher current. We've also seen how to connect remote sense for both of those cases. Thanks for watching. For this and other helpful tips, follow the link on this page.